Good morning to everyone. Uh, Emma Nardi just mentioned that we have the miracle of dance schedule these days, and in order to make miracle come true, we really have to be disciplined, and uh, I would like to announce, announce the first speaker, actually two speakers. Uh, it's about a keynote paper, and Jarka Vujic and Darko Babic both uh, work at the University of Zagreb, uh, Jarka Vujic being a professor and Darko Babic um, a senior lecturer and researcher, and they will both present a paper on education of museum pedagogues in Croatia, organization and quality. After this uh, paper, uh, and after uh, both other papers, we will have a short discussion that will last about five minutes. Thank you. Um, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, we cannot guarantee the faster presentation, but here we are, and it's really nice to see so many museum educators from all over the world. However, at the same time, at least as far as I'm concerned, this brings also a certain comfort, discomfort, not comfort, then discomfort, because seeing all the professionals here at this very moment who can assess our skills in education, or at least in providing information to the audience, it's not so easy. I hope you will not be too strict in your evaluations. Anyway, to explain where you are and where you have come regarding the education of the museum profession, I shall take a few minutes to describe at the beginning how the Chair of Museology at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences was established. Because it is the only one providing full study program of museology and heritage management in Croatia. Uh, the chair was established by these solemn-looking gentlemen, Professor Ivo Marojevic, in 1984 as part of the Department of Information Sciences, which at that time included the chair of librarianship and the so-called chair of documentalistics. He found namely that the information sciences provided quite a natural environment within which it was possible to start development of museology as a modern social science. Uh, let us have a brief look at his definition of museology or musicology. I uh, have to say that a month ago I received an official letter addressed to me uh, to the chair of musicology and it speaks clearly about the public understanding of the term, at least here in Croatia. Many of you first will see function uh, of protection and communications. Indeed, the system of PRC, uh, protection, research, and communication uh, is the very, very important for this understanding of the museology. But in the core of definition, is museality. What is museality? In a way, it's um, some sort of the mysterious and even problematic term, which includes in itself all the meanings and values that we assign to the objects, heritage units, and phenomena, turning them into a heritage. Uh, when explaining the term to my students, I find it the easiest to interpret it as the capability of testifying. Even a pencil from the back uh, from this conference is full of museality. Recognizing museality, we often feel the need to isolate the objects from their context uh, and move them to the institution, including museums. But the heritage, which is the subject of museology, of Professor Marojevic, lives also outside the museum as well. And therefore, the institution of the museum in this definition is at a rel relatively distance from the focus of interest. Uh, 
Thus, of course, based on such understanding of museology, a four-year program and two-year additional program uh, have been established. But however, this understanding of museology was not the only one that was considered within the study program, and more about it you will hear from Zag Darko. Sorry. OK. So, uh, I, well, I a few times promised I will be you know, on time, but uh, just I never succeed, so I will read my paper, too. So all the idea of museality just presented uh, is by all means embracing uh, toward any type or idea of heritage, at least to an additional important element uh, or fact to a, to, a, to a large extent influenced how an education for a museum profession here, and not, only, and, and not anymore only for museum, took its current shape. The first one is, guess, for all of you well-known development of heritage studies as an interdisciplinary academic field that takes a critical look at the way how we create, present, and participate in heritage, including any official and unofficial cat category, category of it. The slide just illustrates, as you know, one, I will say, typical example and the challenge we have today. So the numbers are, of course, not like that, but opposite. Uh, importance, importance of tourism, although, as you are aware, often with questionable impacts on heritage itself, gave the, um, the most important force to, uh, to, uh, for heritage to become uh, considered as an important economic resource. Although always very practical regarding needed skills and competencies, this resulted in blossom of different type of heritage man management, training, trainings, workshops, programs, etc. Indeed, there is nothing wrong with this. Still, another part is often forget that, which is often forget, is that heritage is also knowledge or so a cultural a product and a political resource that fulfills cru crucial social political functions. The later explain many con contestation concerning heritage, like dissonant heritage from the same author or, or, or well-known to authorized heritage discourse of uh, 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 Laura Jen Smith, and of course says a lot about museums. I'm not saying this is something very new for people, especially academics coming from museum studies or museology. Actually, sometimes a reality is quite opposite. Still, the number of people who became interest, interested in and engaged with different heritage isu issues were dr dramatically increased over the last decade, coming with so different educational background from geography to media studies, to name just two of them, create situation that emerging heritage studies cannot be ignored anymore by anyone. One, one example is, of course, for example, heritage interpretation, uh, a very good ex example, uh, in importance of heritage interpretation, the new perspectives of heritage interpretation, sometimes very unclear, defined just uh, as a mission-based communication process, actually 50 on and more years old concept uh, from uh, Freeman Tilden, uh, uh, where he, in his book, Interpreting, Interpreting Our Heritage from uh, 1959, clearly described heritage interpretation as educational activity, which aims to reveal meaning and relationship, relationship through the use of original objects by first-hand experience and, and by illustrative media, rather than simply to, communi to communicate factual information. Actually, perhaps like, uh, sorry, actually phrases like information and communication process, heritage as knowledge, and similar, very well fits into idea of muse museology, which has been developed over the last 25 years at the Zagreb University. And as my colleague in briefly explained previously, saying this, I do not, not, I do not suggest we are kind of the prophets, only that our ideas when museum institution or museum objects were discussed indeed include different type and layers of heritage. So the real tipping point concerning today's structure of our university program, so an education for museum professionals, was much more practical and for all those coming from universities, well-known almighty Bologna process. 
named after the Bologna Declaration, which was signed in the Italian city of Bologna in 1999 by ministries in charge of higher education from 29 European countries. The overarching aim of the Bologna process, as from official documents, is to create a European higher education area based on international cooperation and academic exchange that is attractive to Euro European students and staff, as well as to students and staff from other parts of the world. Beside this general, indeed noble aim, guess you share with me observation that very often EU's so-so administrative language could, be, could kill our en enthusiasm. You certainly <coughs> were, were confronted with it, if not because of Bologna, then I guess on different EU projects you had or you had. So beside the main aim, the main aim of the reform, Bologna reform, was to create easily readable and comparable degrees organized, organized, organized in a three cycle structures, then guarantee unified quality and to ensure fair recognition of foreign degrees and other higher education qualification. After signing of Bologna Declaration in 2001, in 2004 and 2005, we were here in position and some could say forced to organize our uh, to reorganize our existing studies in accordance with Bologna principles. Of course, we change and uh, we are changing continuously our study program, but switching to Bologna offer us, offered us at Museology a great chance to practically, practically, practically create a completely new program which in opposition to previous and due to the Bologna 3 plus 2 master model, open the possibility for introduction of new master of Museology and Heritage Management. I will just in brief show you how it looks today. So on the first, on the first three years, we have <coughs> few subjects we are actually, which are actually part of, uh, 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 of the information sciences, study of information sciences, heritage institution, introduction to museology, theory of heritage, introduction to collection management, muse basic museum documentation, and introduction to preservation of collection. On a fourth, and a, and a fifth year, so the part of the, of the master, there is a museum collection, preservation of museum collection, museum documentation, heritage communication, heritage and development, exhibition, cyber, and virtual museums, and on the fifth year, heritage marketing, museum management, heritage management, culture, tourism, museum architecture, field work, and final work. I will go back just for a second on, a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on this slide, just to say, because I'm really proud, we are all re really proud of the of the, of the young, young guy from on, on your right who just finished this year uh, the Master of Museology and Heritage Management here and now he is actually at Harvard University because he received the scholarship from, from Harvard because of his project and his actually final thesis. I will not comment that one. If you want, just ask me after that. I, that's all part of the heritage as you know. <clears throat> So probably you want to ask where, where is it or what is going on with museum heritage, pedagogy or education? Well, we had an, an idea and it was indeed suggested and discussed very lively with co colleagues from museums. And in the original plan of the new program, a module of museum pedagogy was introduced having in mind, having in mind as, uh, as basic following, following subjects. Later, Mo modules were on faculty university level put aside, the study program implemented, and the study, prog study programs implemented only in, it, in, it, in its basic form. The one I showed you a moment ago. Still, parts of museum her or heritage education, uh, relevant topics were inserted into existing subjects, or part of them, as you can recognize, the first and the second are part actually of of normal regular uh, master. In fact, beside that, this year we made another attempt regarding kind of maybe formalization, it's not of course formalization, but uh, uh, let's say visibility regarding this by sending into procedure of, uh, of accreditation, which is sometimes very, very long process, a subject entitled museum education. Someone could easily notice having this event, conference, 
here is not a coincidence, at least for us, and at least regarding museum heritage education. Finally, going back from the second reason to the first one, I mentioned at the beginning, and to, and to ensure you that not only Bologna changes us an education here, I would like to mention that the scope of interest and related researches done within our chair reflect contemporary tendency within, now I will say deliberately, heritage museum studies, pointing at this moment to recently fin finalized doctoral thesis which address topic of heritage literacy and it Okay, and it's multi-layered relation to slightly different perception of heritage management. Here, in that PhD thesis, proposed, proposed idea of heritage literacy, literacy stands for, for and explain not, not only need for heritage education, but it's trying to see it as a kind of human right which is, which in opposition to, for example, UNESCO World Heritage List, and many still very powerful heritage-related declaration tend to offer at least theoretical model why and how this human right must be dis at disposal for any, even the smallest one community, wherever they, or wherever they, that, kind, that community live. That's pretty in accordance with something which, having in mind here, only European context could be found in unfortunately not enough known FARA convention and heritage heritage communities mentioned there. So this one is, uh, so mentioning this one, allow me to say that some other literacy are discussed too at our chair, or more correctly to say sub-department. One is actually in the program of this conference too. Of course, this is not the only change, if change at all, having in mind explained idea of Zagreb museology at the beginning, which over the last few years happened here. Some other activities were just slightly, slightly or indeed more reorganized. Some other new topics opened, opened about which my colleagues will say a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> just a really few words about the activities at the study of museology that contribute to the better education of the museology. museology. Here is the list, but I'm especially proud on the group of students who made a, a concept of display of the memorial collection of our authoress, Maria Juric Zagorek, and win a rector award for this project. Here they are also a research project, and we are expecting also diploma works, diploma paper, master degrees paper, and uh, doctor thesis uh, in future. Here's the web page with links, with useful uh, resources, and so on. Uh, it is obviously, uh, looking at all of this, that Croatia, it's academic, and its museum community has entered the area in which the importance of objects, heritage units, and phenomena, as well as the important information about them, has replaced by the importance of users. I have the final. So actually, at, at, at the end, uh, uh, we just wanted to, to we, we, we have of course that title at the beginning, but we move it at the end because we think that it belongs to the end. Because we, we say a little bit about everything, but nothing probably about museum pedagogy. And you probably came here just to listen about that, not only that, of course. What we want to say is that uh, all what we present to you is the context, uh, so not only the context meaning Croatia and Zagreb, uh, uh, but the context regarding education for, for museum professionals here, uh, which have actually pretty long tradition uh, compared to, 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 to other, many other programs. So just to, to offer you that and to discuss, to discuss uh, idea of and possibility of museum pedagogy and of course, we really believe that this conference uh, could be a final touch for us to have, as I said before, uh, museum pedagogy, not, not just as a part of other subjects, but indeed as a, at least module and, and at least uh, 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 clear as a subject, uh, at, 
at least. So actually, we at that, this, this moment are just the lion on the left side. So thank you very much.